Should you and your partner have access to each other's phones whenever you want? Here's my thoughts. Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothing dot com. I am... Fuck it! And that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. And today, guys, we got a juicy one. All right. My thoughts on whether your partner and you should have full open access to each other's phones, right? Or social media, uh, passwords, all those other things, okay? Now, um, I've given some thought to this. Um, I didn't just wanna make a video and kind of go off the, uh, off the cuff with it. Um, but then I stopped myself and I said, maybe I should just go off the cuff, okay? So here it is. Now, my thing is, if you enter into a new relationship where trust has never been violated, I mean, you've got a clean slate with this person and, you know, everything is fine. You know, let's say you're now monogamous and you're committed to where you're now, they're officially your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Um, and there hasn't been any like lies or infidelity or anything else because of course it's new, right? Um, I don't see why you would want to have access because you shouldn't have any trust issues. And if you do have trust issues, then that's something that you two need to discuss and figure out if it's something like, say you're the one that's jealous or worried about things. Um, if they haven't given you a reason to be jealous, but you're simply carrying over baggage from a previous relationship where maybe you were cheated on, or maybe there's a history of you being cheated on, um, then that's your issue that you need to work on and work through those demons and those trust issues that you have. You know, maybe you don't trust anybody. And, you know, you need to feel safe and secure in the relationship by having complete transparency and being able to pick up their phone anytime you want and look through it. Um, my personal take on it is that I don't think that you should have to feel like you need to do that. Um, if you're in a relationship with them and you're already trusting them with your body, with your heart, then you need to show them that you trust them by not needing to look through their stuff. Um, you might stu stumble across things that are completely innocent, but you perceive as like a dagger through the heart, like if they have pictures of their ex-boyfriends, you know? Um, yeah, they had, they've dated other people, right? If they were married, um, maybe they have pictures of them and their, uh, their ex with children, you know? Who knows? Um, but the thing is, is this should not be a concern because whatever happened in the past is in the past, um, and you should be giving them a clean slate. I mean, sometimes like myself, I just have all kinds of random things because it's really easy to get your phone clogged up with pictures and texts and things. And it's it takes some time to go through and to wipe clean. Um, I generally throw out and clean out all pictures of exes because they're not in my life anymore. And I know some people think that that's mean or cruel or um, whatever. I mean, there's probably pictures on my social media um, from the past of girls, but I don't go back and look for anything like that because it's just something that was in my past. If it's affecting my current relationship and, you know, they have take issue with it or they see it as a sign of disrespect or something, I don't care. You know, I've deleted stuff before and it, it because it doesn't mean anything to me. Um, you know, we shared a moment in time, just like they've shared, you know, moments in time or years with somebody, but there's a reason they're not with them anymore. So, you know, you've got to value yourself enough and know the value you're bringing to a relationship to look past that stuff. Um, because in my opinion, it makes you look weak if that kind of stuff bothers you. I mean, what's your self perception? You know, do you feel that you're a great catch, that you're good looking, you're successful, you're whatever, you know, maybe, you know, you haven't worked on yourself. Maybe you aren't bringing your best you to the table because all you can expect is for um, a person to love you for who you are and what you bring. And if you haven't done the work on yourself, 
you know, if you're not going somewhere, if you're not working on something, if you're not working on self-improvement and becoming a better version of you, then yeah, you probably are going to have some insecurities and some self-doubts, but that shouldn't be your partner's responsibility. That should be your personal responsibility to have self-love, put yourself first, uh, not in a selfish way, but in a selfless way as to be a better dad, a better friend, a better employee, you know, all of these things. And when you've got that self-love and self-acceptance, then, you know, you're not going to worry about those little things because, you know, if you're starting a clean slate with trust and you're being, you know, a good boyfriend, good girlfriend and doing everything you can, you can't control what the other person is going to do. You know, you can't change them. You can't mold them into what you want them to be. You know, it's like um, what you see is what you get, you know, when you sign up for it. And if you're finding things over the months or years that lead you to have reasonable doubt as to whether you can trust this person, then that's another issue for another video. But when you're starting fresh or when there's never been any signs of anything, but it's in your head because you know you're not being your best you, then the issue is really with you. Whether they're doing it or not, you can't 100% ever know when you're with somebody or when you're in love with them if they're being completely 100% on the level with you. All you can do is control yourself. And just like everything else in life, it's a risk. You know, it's a risk when you choose a career path in college and you go into an industry that dries up in two years or, you know, it's a risk when um, you are with somebody for a while and decide to risk it that one time and have unprotected sex and now they're pregnant or you're pregnant. That was a risk. And, you know, there's actions and there's reactions. There's consequences for everything we do. You know, it's, that's just life. And you can drive yourself insane with trying to control every aspect of another person. And usually that's rooted in you not having any self-control um, and having your stuff together as to be the best partner you can be. Because if that should happen where you find out they did cheat or they're still talking to an ex or whatever, again, that's another video for another day. But you know, when things are good, you can sabotage it by bringing in your feelings and your reactions from previous relationships. You know, you learn something with every mistake you make or mistake a partner makes, but then you grow from it, you know, and you don't repeat it. You look at yourself to say, did I do anything? If, if you're getting in a series of relationships where they're always cheating on you, um, I'm not justifying their cheating, but maybe there's something that's lacking in your character or what you bring to the table that's creating, um, uh, a loneliness that they have where they want it filled you know do you listen to them if you're not meeting their needs maybe you're not trying or maybe you're just not the right person for them you know and you're at different places in your life so you know it's a big can of worms when you open it up there's a lot to it but in my personal opinion I don't have my girlfriend's passcodes I don't want them I don't care what's on her phone you know I trust her I love her and she's never given me a reason to doubt her and if she ever does, then that's a bridge we'll cross when we come to it. Okay? Like, share, subscribe. I hope you guys like that information. Let me know if you agree with me, disagree, and uh, any video ideas on this topic. Because we can go, we could create a whole channel just based on this stuff. All right, guys? Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.